Isn't it intriguing how the same situation is handled differently by two individuals, especially when they are the king and the prince? In the heart of London, a tale of two hospital stays unfolds, each marked by a distinctive approach that echoes the personalities of the current and future bearers of the crown. King Charles, with Queen Camilla steadfastly by his side, chose the path of transparency. Their open departure from the hospital symbolized a reign marked by openness, their decision to share his health journey reassured the nation and sparked a wider conversation about prostate health. In stark contrast, Prince William and Princess Kate's discretion paints a different picture, one of privacy and restraint. Their sparse appearances and the princess's quiet departure weave a narrative of a family choosing to guard the sanctity of their private life fiercely. The difference in approach not only sheds light on their personalities but also sets the tone for their respective reigns. Every action has its consequences, and this contrast in approach was no different. The Prince and Princess of Wales's decision to guard their privacy sparked a whirlwind of speculation. The lack of information left an open field for conjecture, the press and public eager to fill in the blanks. The media, ever hungry for news, feasted on the mystery, their headlines brimming with questions and theories. Yet, this silence also commanded a certain respect. Their decision to maintain a boundary between their public duties and personal tribulations was seen by many as a brave stand. It was a clear signal that, while they understood their responsibilities as public figures, they also valued their right to privacy. This stance, while causing speculation, also garnered admiration for their commitment to protecting their family's sanctity. On the other hand, King Charles's transparency had its own ripple effect. His openness reassured the nation, the public appreciating the candor and the insight into a situation that many could relate to. This transparency also sparked a wider conversation about prostate health, a testament to the power of the crown to influence and inform. It was a clear demonstration of how the monarchy could use its platform for the greater good, shedding light on important health issues and encouraging public discourse. However, this contrast in approach was not without its fallout. The visible absence of the Middletons and the children during the princess's hospital stay stirred a silent symphony of curiosity and concern. Whispers of the press and the public's unspoken questions lingered in the air, a testament to the impact of the contrasting approaches between Buckingham Palace and Kensington Palace. The whispers of the press and the public's unspoken questions about the visible absence of the Middletons and the children during the princess's hospital stay linger in the air, a silent symphony of curiosity and concern. These contrasting approaches are not just individual decisions but reflect the crossroads at which the monarchy stands today. It's a delicate dance, isn't it? On one hand, the monarchy is expected to uphold centuries-old traditions and maintain a certain level of distance. On the other hand, we live in an era where the public craves transparency and relatability. It's a balance that must be struck between fulfilling public expectations and preserving the sanctity of private life. What we see in the differing approaches of King Charles and Prince William is a reflection of this delicate balance. King Charles, with his proactive stance, is choosing to use his position to influence and inform. By publicly sharing his health journey, he's not just reassuring the nation but also initiating important conversations. He's navigating the crossroads by steering the monarchy towards a path of openness and engagement. Prince William, on the other hand, is taking a more guarded approach. By choosing to keep the details of his wife's hospital stay private, is preserving the boundary between public duty and personal life. It's a different path at the crossroads, but it's guided by the same intent, to serve and protect the legacy of the family that stands at the heart of the nation. These contrasting approaches, while differing in execution, are unified in their intent. They reflect the monarchy's attempt to navigate the delicate balance between public expectation and private life. Whether it's through transparency or discretion, both the king and the prince are striving to uphold the royal legacy while respecting the changing societal norms. This is the crossroads of the monarchy. It's a journey that's unfolding right before our eyes, shaping the future of this historic institution. It's a fascinating narrative, isn't it? Two different approaches, two different paths at the crossroads, but one common goal, to serve and protect the legacy of a family that stands at the heart of a nation. 
As the story of these two hospital stays weaves its way through the fabric of modern royal history, it becomes evident that the monarchy is at a crossroads, navigating the delicate balance between public expectation and private life. The king's proactive stance and the prince's guarded approach, while differing in execution, are unified in their intent to serve and protect the legacy of a family that stands at the heart of a nation. Stay tuned for the next Majesty Moments video, Queen Camilla, Sophie and Princess and step up in light of royal illness. Did you know that channel members can get an exclusive video every week? That's on top of custom emojis, loyalty badges, and an extra quiz question every day. Sign up link is in this video's description.